Hey guys and girls, so we are back with Avorian Uncut. And uh, so today we are going to explore the systems around us. I think we're just going to be jumping uh, and going through some gates. Uh, probably the gates, how, how costly is it up here? Oh, only 17. I guess when you're uh, further uh, away from the center of the galaxy, uh, the gate costs go down a bit too. Of course, this, the distance of the gates uh, have a big effect on that as well. So uh, that's kind of nice. Oh, it looks like there's a little fight going on, but we're, we're, we're staying out of the fights today anyway. So, yeah, we're going to explore uh, our, our area anyways and see what there is. Yeah, we're really slow one, aren't we? Might be time for some uh, thruster upgrades here. So we can upgrade parts of our ship. We can, uh, you know, select things and replace them. I don't think you can replace parts of a ship completely to material type but I'm not sure I've never never done it I've heard somebody said there was a way but I don't think so um, I think you pretty much have to select uh, the, the one type of block and then go from there but uh, I've never ever uh, really tried or looked into it anyways I've heard of it I've heard of it I have to let you know I've heard of it, but uh, I've done it outside of XML editing and things like that, but I have never done it another way. Um, I don't know what the temple material type is because it's never kind of worked. Uh, but anyways, what we can do is first we can take our thrusters here, titanium thrusters, and we can pick this block here and we can replace all our titanium thrusters. And it maintains its color, I think, unless if you click it a second time. So that's kind of cool. And uh, there you go. So we switch those over. And then uh, I probably don't have enough of the thrust titanium thrusters. So let's add some more. Let's just be one crazy ship, shall we? Is that actually off-centered slightly? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's so cool. It's slightly smaller than our normal because of our... Uh, Oh, no, I don't know. That's weird. That's because we have adjusted things on it. We've kind of screwed up gri our grid, like, completely. That was awesome. You could do match block anyways. There you go. So we can go something like this. That'll give us a little more thrusters. Of course, we're going to have a bit more problems stopping, but we can sort of fix that up as well with titanium ones. So let's go ahead and just fix this up interesting why can't I build that oh I guess it's trying to go under it so there you go give us a bit more stopping power if we can and uh, yeah so there you go that's this cool uh, but power is gonna be an issue too now you guys noticed my power was becoming an issue so maybe it's time for uh, a generator let's uh, not match blocks Oh, wow. There you go. Can we fit you in there? No. This is the overlapping in the grid. This is where, you know, you want to change your grid up, I guess. Hey, if it lets me get it in there, that's what counts, right? Yeah, it'll work. Except let's do mirroring. That kind of overlaps sort of in and oh yeah, we failed badly there actually. There we go. That might be enough, probably not. We're also missing some crew guys, so our thrusters are okayish max velocity. Oh, this is because it's yellow because of the uh, changes. Okay, so now when we do this, how crazy is this thing? Oh wow, my max velocity is just tanked. That's because I'm missing those engineers. Once your ship needs engineers, it just, that's it. It's gone. It doesn't even move, as you can see. What's the closest station to me right now? You can zoom all the way out and get a better look. Uh, you are 12K. Yeah, let's go to you, actually, since you're nearby. I always say escape here. Unfortunately, you can't just escape. I wish you could, but you can't. We're going to have to probably build more crew, too. Oh, 
Oh boy. So you can see overdoing something could be a bad thing if you don't have your crew member. As you can see, it's like going to take me forever to get there. My normal f speed is 66 meters. <laughs> this is awesome. Attention. I'm not doing so well in this area. It'll be nice once we get those crewmen on. Go, go, Kane, go! Before they shut you down again. Here we go. F to dock. Okay, so uh, hire crew. We definitely want to hire crew now. Who are we missing? We're going to check this out. We're missing one engineer. So we can hire an engineer. Now this is going to be a problem because we don't have room. So you'll have a new thing. You don't have enough room. So we're going to have to go back to the build menu, of course. And we're going to have to build the room. Actually, let's, let's try upgrading. I don't know if the upgrade will be enough, but... Uh, which ones are the crew quarters, actually? This one? I think so. Oh, oh, oh. No, that wasn't enough anyways. So, uh, yeah, let's get a crew quarter in here. Let's go. Might as well go all titanium. Seems to be our way these days. So, crew quarters. Let's bring it flat and... There you go. Sometimes it's hard because you get these things on the top of everything and oh that looks perfect. And you can also do this. You can merge everything and sometimes it uses more resources, waste resources, but it puts it all into one kind of block and gives you a bit more HP so like it, they have to take out the full block instead of just a small block. Uh, but there we go. Now we should be fine. We're gonna be outgunned. That'll be a warning for a long time. But uh, our average speed on just going is 431. And now when we gas up, oh, look at that. 15, 16, 1726 meters a second now. That's beautiful. So that's a, a better way of uh, for us to travel around now and explore. Ah, an adventure. Hello, you're off an adventure too. Absolutely. Great. I'm sure we can help each other. So uh, you can ask him for tips. Uh, what's going on around here? He talks about 200 years ago, there was uh, basically a, a catastrophe that happened at the center and it ripped the entire galaxy. They call it the event. Um, and then basically there's areas where you can't fly anymore. And they basically go through and talk about that. And uh, then there's the Zanyan, which we don't know if they came from this, you know, rip or if they're from wherever, but they seem to have a little more power and special, you know, uh, basically they're, they're more powerful. And uh, yeah, so when we talk to this guy, um, I wish the best of luck on your journey. Thank you. And there you go. So when you talk to this guy, he gives you this item and that's literally all you're talking to him technically for which is your first module and uh, if we go to our ship menu here you got your systems and you can place it here and this one does a deep scan range of plus two so it just lets you scan a little further out and uh, yeah just a bit more just to see what's going on um, it does this here too. see this it lets you see these yellow coordinates so we can right click on the map and jump if you've never done that so here's another system. There's some pirates in the area, it looks like. Yeah, some pirates. And then they're fighting this poor guy, but we can't really help because we only have mining lasers, so we'd be kind of useless. Plus, we'd probably get owned. We have 92 hull. Let's give you an idea. How much hull does this guy have? He has uh, 660 hull, so we're, we're not any kind of... Uh, we're not ready for that kind of thing. And like I said, we don't have what we need to fight them. So we're going to jump out of there. And uh, so this system says there might have been mass here. I guess the planet. Is the planet considered mass? I feel like there might have been something else, but maybe not. 
So if you look around, there's sometimes these yellow when you're wearing this module. And these this sometimes could be interesting. It'd be you know a smuggler outpost, or it could be even a bot, you know, like a boss out there. There could be many things, and it's it's kind of interesting to uh, you know explore and follow these. So our computer is calculating a jump right now. It's pretty decently fast. Looks like we took damage. I didn't even realize I took damage there. My ship takes so long to calculate the jump. I didn't realize it would. I haven't quite mastered what makes your jump uh, calculation faster. I'm starting to think the computer has some kind of impact and effect. There's a, uh, a jump computer you can make because I, I think it's the only thing that would explain it, to be honest. Um, it must be that. Wow. This is actually... Oh, I'm an idiot. You know what? I was probably all wrong and I selected one out. Never mind, you can only jump in with the blue, and you know what, maybe the jump computer doesn't have an effect. I was like, this is taking way too long. Yeah, no, that's about the normal jump time. I don't think anything affects jump calculation, unfortunately. I, f I wish the computer did, but it doesn't seem to. So here we go, we got another shipyard here. What are here? So you can build ships here. If you've never done this, you can uh, go up to this and build a ship. Maybe we'll do it for fun. Uh, so you could say you can do your scaling, the cost, the volume. Uh, so you can change these effects. Of course, they will cost more. Uh, you can get insurance or captain and crew. It gets quite expensive, actually, if you think about it. But uh, let's see. Let's do something like this. There you go. For fun. Uh, we'll call it uh, follow one. Oh, you can show the stats. That's cool. So you can see its HP is ridiculous compared to me. There you go. If you do stations, this is how you build a station. Uh, this will increase the cost. I thought it would. Maybe not. But uh, anyways, you hit build and it'll start building. So. I not only just gain good rep with these locals, but I also am now building the ship, and you can see the progression bar there, which is pretty freaking cool. So there you go. I thought that would be interesting. I don't think we've ever bothered building a ship in a Let's Play series, and already episode two, I'm building one with you guys. So, And we can remotely add to it, build to it, so we can add combat uh, stuff to this ship, even to maybe defend me. So that would be kind of cool. Here she is. She should be around here. Oh, there she is. There she goes. Do, 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 do. Okay, so um, what we can do is we hit F on it and we can go build mode so you can build on this ship. So where's the front? The front is up here. So one thing I would like to put on this ship is turrets because turrets will let me uh, defend at least me right now, right? So. I got this triple tr uh, chain gun, and I'm going to put them right at the front like this, I think. There you go. And this will help fight and defend me, and uh, it's going to require four gunners. So downside is we don't have that, but what we can do is we can do the following. Interact, uh, transfer crew or cargo, and we can take our four miners. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should be able to, right? So this is mine, right? Yeah. Interesting. This is not working as well as I was hoping. Oh, you're too far away. I'm a noob. I've never done this either. So we're, we're doing things that we've never done before. People are going to be like, dude, we've been waiting for this forever, and you're already doing it on this series. Uh, there we go. Two, three, four. There you go. Now, they got four miners. Hey, but my guys were never actual miners. Does this not know? Like, does it just, huh? Orders. Uh, 
we're gonna have to do enter then because what we're gonna have to do here is adjust this so here you go uh you need the gunners oh because our crew got bigger they needed more crew okay let's go over here oh this ship is like flying a tank oh wow you're like over over uh bird in there okay oh wow you you're gonna take for a long time to stop aren't you Woo -hoo! oh man and I was actually w one point considering having a series where we just actually do I have that mod on here maybe we do and we don't have to worry I was thinking of having a series where it would just be me uh, flying okay Are we good we good I think we're good okay yeah we shoot two guns now Okay, can I uh, transfer from here? No, I don't think so. We have to get closer. Much closer, I guess. There we go. And then what we can do is we can give this guy orders to uh, escort me. So he will follow me <laughs> to whatever ability he has. So over here, we have a module station. We've been to one of these. I never showed you. You can buy turrets and things like this. So look at this double iron mining turret. Ooh, this is beautiful. But it's not as much damage, but better efficiency. Um, and then you can sell, of course, to it. And then you have your upgrades. Oh, look at this. This quantum, uh, was that six, I guess? Uh, hyperspace upgrade. Uh, exotic, so it'll let you jump up to eight. But look at that, 1.71 gigawatts of power. So it's a lot more power usage than what we have. Holy crap, this one has 3.5 gigawatt shield boosters, uh, velocity security bypass. So this one will let you just pretty much fly as fast as one can go. Very cool. So uh, I guess we'll be off to do our adventures. Now with this guy tailing us, um, I don't, I think they can go to the jump gates, but I think there's also known problems and issues, so I would suggest jumping. He should follow you through jump to jump with no problem. I don't think he has restrictions like, oh, my computer sucks, I can't jump that well, things like that, and I might be taking that away back. He did not follow me. Oh, no, never mind. He's right there. I was like, uh, what? I'm pretty sure he should be following me. Okay, so we can follow this. Uh, northeast, so is this the northeast ga gate? No, this is the southwest gate, so we want to visit the northeast, north, northwest. Uh, where is one more gate? Oh, here it is. Ooh, this is like a non-friendly area. We'll check it out anyways. Look at all the materials in here. Maybe we should uh, look for a bit of titanium. Ah, here we go. Now that other ship of mine is probably going to die and blow up in the near future because he's dumb but uh, if it happens it happens right this place is a very dark system Ooh. oh you know what I'm a noob I didn't replace my miners but there's a station right here so if you want this mod that I use that lets me just dock within whatever and it lets me tr trade uh, there is uh, I put it in the description on the first episode so you should be able to get the information there. Did I transfer two more? I think I did. So two more. There we go. Is she back? Oh yeah. There she goes. Dun 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 dun. Now this game has some nice music. Um. But the problem is I had to disable the music because copyright. Yeah, I had some copyright flags and I just wasn't going to deal with that. Just like, you know what? No, no thanks. Normally I wouldn't care too much, but I I don't like those warnings. I always worry that one day that user will instead go even worse, maybe sell it off to another company. And instead of me just getting a, a warning, it'll be like, oh, this guy had stolen our material. What they're doing is illegal, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I kind of disable the music in a lot of games. And it's highly suggested if you want to be a YouTuber, uh, you get a lot of problems. Streamers are not so bad because it's like, you know, you're streaming that content at the time. It's not so bad. 
though on YouTube it could be maybe more problematic, uh, but on Twitch it's usually not too bad. But uh, I've gotten full out strikes on my accounts before where I've lost uh, limitations of my account due to it. I, prob I probably didn't even tell you guys, but this happened to my No Man's Skies. Uh, I lost streaming privileges. So you guys uh, know a lot of people hate No Man's Skies out there. I give you a better reason to get a little disappointed with and I don't hate the game. I actually want to play it again in the near future, just a bit. But uh, No Man's Skies for me, actually, uh, I got this copyright on my account that uh, totaled my account for streaming for 90 days. I think in the end I was able to fight it back, but it was Sony who did it. It wasn't Hello Games, but Sony basically claimed I had posted video content, blah, 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 before the release and et cetera, et cetera, which I didn't even get a press copy of it. So, yeah, that was full of that. A guy from Quebec actually got me the game. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, I ended up getting this strike on my account and I didn't realize it for the last for the longest time there was an easier way of fighting it I guess but it took me a while it basically it was pretty much like 80 days or so by the time I had it resolved and I wasn't able to stream on my YouTube now I'm not a big streamer on YouTube anyways but it really made me sad and depressed because at the time I really wanted to do some streaming for No Man's Sky so I wanted to you know really show people the game and I was I was looking forward to streaming it. I just had the mood of, hey, I want to actually do some streaming, uh, but it didn't work out anyways. And yeah. So we were thinking of trying to go through that gate, see what happens. I don't know if our other ship would follow us, but it might be worth a try. He's slow, so I'm more interested in what happens with that. Woo! Sometimes it's easier just to turn to the side and. Accelerate if you feel like you're going to smash into something. Oh, that was somebody jumping. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to go to that gate we saw over here. I highly doubt my ship behind me will be able to follow me that well, but I'm interested to see what happens. So we're just going to blast through the gate. Maybe it teleports them. I don't know what they do for that, but uh, I'm looking forward to see what happens here. Now the other system in single player, regular play, it doesn't shut down for five minutes. So did he come with me? I don't think I see him on my thing. So... He is stuck on the other side right now. Will he come through? I guess we have to kind of give him a minute and see what happens. The other side will stay open for five entire minutes, so maybe we'll do some mining and see what happens. Let's do it around this gate. Yeah, so the way the game works right now is normally basically uh, everything shuts down after five minutes from a system you leave. And uh, we can actually type in status here to give you an idea. We have six sectors of memory, ten sectors in total uh, we've like generated. Uh, we may have not been to ten, but it generates. And you're probably wondering, why are those numbers really high? Well, every place... Oh, actually, I just lied. Every place that has a gate connected uh, stays open indefinitely, actually. So when I'm in this system to that gate, that other system should be open. Now, I don't think it daisy chains. So the, that system there with a gate in it, it doesn't un like load another one, and you know, etc. But basically, the system I'm in and every other... Uh, system that's connected to this one with via gate should be loaded but that last system I visited should also stay loaded for five minutes plus it'll stay loaded indefinitely anyways because I'm in this sector but at the same time it should also uh, have its gates that it was connected loaded for the five minutes as well and then those will you know disappear of course but uh... oh he went through. I had to pay. Oh, because it's probably based on mass? Is that what it is? Okay. So the gates cost more depending on the mass. So it cost me 100 Cost him almost 1000 because of his mass. Ah, 
look at that. I'm learning something for having this guy follow me. So this system is uh, not such a nice system because, uh, well, as you can see, everyone is not so friendly. Now, they shouldn't attack on sight. They're not enemies. They're just a relationship is very poor. This also means that I can't probably buy or sell from them, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I can use electronic board. Can I hire a crew? Oh, apparently I can. Huh. I didn't think I would be able to, to be honest. This is buy and sell goods, but you really need a, a bit of a computer to help you with this. And of course, we would need a cargo uh, container and things like that on our ship. And uh, you'd need a pretty big one if you're going to do shipping materials. And then you want to find a shipping route. Uh, so you want to find like a good place to buy, sell, etc. There is a, a special uh, module we can get later on, hopefully, um, that would help a lot with this. But uh, that's more later on than anything. So let's lo look here. So yeah, this is becoming a bit of an enemy territory. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. But we're going to jump it because of cost reasons. Now as far as I know, no matter what, your sh other ship should jump with you as much as possible. I don't think it has any limitations. I say that and then he didn't come with me. Take that back. Maybe he does have limitations. You know what? I wonder if he wasn't set to follow when we went through the gate. I think that might have been the case. So we're going to have to retrieve him. <laughs> I don't know if that really is the case, but... No, he was moving. huh? So... Orders. Uh, escort me. Let's try this again, shall we? Now there's a yellow system here. We could check it out. Probably not a safe one, but heh, whatever. No pain, no gain, right? Ooh, this is lots of titanium. He did not follow me again. What is his problem today? Maybe he's still going to try to jump, maybe? I don't know. He should jump the same distance as me. I don't think there is anything more minimum than the jump distance he would have had. So maybe he's taking his time, but his calculation should be roughly about the same, I'd assume. Yeah, that's weird. I think that might be a bug. Look at all the titanium in the system. Nice. But either way, I think that rounds this episode. If you guys have an idea of what happened to my ship, let me know. Uh, he is not coming with me, unfortunately. He is not playing fair at all. What a pain in my butt. Um, usually, they, they usually play hackish. So when you do jumps, they seem to always, 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 no matter what, jump with you at the same time. You know, it's like they're perfectly in sync. But this guy is definitely not playing fair. Uh, this is a non... Uh, yeah, see, there's seven in memory. Oh, he did jump. There he is. Holy crap. I guess he just took longer then. You wouldn't have wanted to double jump, but I'm a little confused. Usually he's right on the ball. Huh. I wonder if it's a distance thing. Like, maybe he had to get to the point where I was in the system and then jump? Weird. Maybe it took him that long to turn the ship. <laughs> But uh, either way, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.